Hello everybody, I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist, and today we are with a GOAT. A greatest of all time from the art world. I'm talking about Vincent van Gogh. Now, Vincent van Gogh was a Dutch uh, post-impressionist painter who, upon his passing, became one of the most famous and influential figures in Western art history. In a decade uh, that he was productive, uh, he created over 2,100 pieces of art including around 860 oil paintings. Um, some that you might know of include Sunflower here, shown here. That sold for about $40 million decades ago, a long, long time ago. This is Dr. Paul Gachet, and that was painted in his last uh, 70 days of his life, um, as was Sunflowers. And that sold in 1990. $83 million. And just two weeks ago, here we are in November 20, 2022, the estate of Paul Allen, Microsoft's Paul Allen, sold Orchard with Cypresses for $117 million. With them. That is a new record for a Van Gogh. Um, now, Van Gogh during his lifetime was a healthy, happy-go-lucky... <laughs> okay. I can't fake it anymore. Now, the man had problems. Okay. Van Gogh suffered from psychotic breakdowns um, and delusions. And even though he kind of knew he was insane because it ran in the family, his sister was, I believe, institutionalized. Um, he often neglected his physical health. His, uh, his um, didn't eat properly. He drank way too much. He was considered basically a madman um, and a failure to the, the people that he was worked with and was around. And he was in a constant state of poverty and depression. Um, so during that time, uh, in his last seven months or uh, 70 days of his life, he moved to Auberge Raveau, uh, a little townhouse in the little town of Auberge Souan outside of Paris. And if you think my French accent is bad, just wait, it gets worse, much worse. And, uh, it was here that he created 80 individual pieces of art, some of them which is considered his greatest hits today, like sunflowers. Um, he painted in 70 days. So here was this madman walking around town, not taking care of himself, but he was knocking out a painting and a quarter, two paintings every every day until, uh, sadly, the, the depression and the neglect took hold. And he shot himself with a pistol in the chest in the upstairs room of Aubert Raveau. Uh, and he died two days later. So let's see where he's buried. And it's actually in the Aubert Suong Community Cemetery. Okay, so here we are at the entrance to uh, uh, Versoin, uh, the uh, little communal cemetery. They're located uh, within uh, the small town. Uh, the, the town itself is actually dedicated to Vincent van Gogh. Uh, he spent his last 70 days there, painted some of his most fabulous pieces of art, and uh, he died there upstairs in the Auberge Raveau. Which, um, by the way, the, the Auberge Revo is a historic French landmark. Uh, it's been in continuous operation since uh, 1876 as a wine shop and a restaurant. Uh, and uh, he spent his last uh, 70 days in the upstairs, and the room is available for viewing. And uh, you should visit it. It's a landmark. Um, here's a picture of it. Uh, they've really cleaned it up, uh, uh, but if you go to my website, thetombstonetourist.com, I have pictures of it from back in the, the late 1800s and, and whatnot, so it's absolutely fascinating. Uh, would you like to see a real picture of Vincent van Gogh? Um, you've probably seen a lot of self-portraits that he's painted, uh, but this here, right here, is the only known photograph of Vincent. Now, every couple of years, every decade, a new photo surfaces and people go, oh, yeah, this is the new Vincent Van Gogh. There's now two photographs. Absolutely not. Uh, it's generally his brother, Theo. They look very much alike, have the same facial structure. 
but uh, it always comes back forensically that uh, there's still only one known photograph of Vincent. Um, so as you make through your way through the cemetery, you can see uh, if we wanted to, we could just go through the main gate, hang a left, hang a right, follow the wall, and there's Vincent and his brother Theo. But as you can see, Moat Carrard, who uh, gave me this video, um, thank you once again, Moat. You're probably familiar with all of her work uh, throughout France and, and Switzerland and whatnot. Uh, she decided to take the scenic route as we see some of the other monuments and, and whatnot. This little, little simple cemetery is just absolutely gorgeous. So uh, until then, let's uh, turn it over to Mode, and we're going to see uh, Vincent's grave come up here in a minute. But I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist. Be sure to come out to my website. You know the drill, thetombstonetourist.com for all the great pictures, videos, and whatnot. And you're gonna learn a whole lot about Vincent that you probably didn't know. Until then, I'll see you on the flip side. Bye now.